Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I don't really know where to start with this, so I think the first thing I'm going to talk about is a time management principle that I remember learning about from uh, who is a, he's a computer science professor at Carnegie Mellon a while ago who unfortunately passed away due to cancer. But one of the things I remember him talking about was the time management principle of touch every piece of paper once. And so this is my closet and I, I was thinking I was going to go through different parts of my apartment and show you how I adhere to this principle and then also areas where I need to improve in the thought that maybe this will be helpful for somebody who is trying to get organized and is looking for some pointers. So let's just start up here. I have my heater, I have a fan, and it's pretty obvious that I can access those items without moving anything else out of the way. They're readily accessible. And the same, I think, is generally true in this part of the closet, although I have to move this mouse to get to this wrist rest. But other than that, there's not really too much stacking. There's some ink cartridges stacked back there, but I have like stacked on like, so there really isn't too much of an issue. These two types of packing tape kind of violate the principle because they're not really like kinds. This is a clear packing tape, while this I think is called uh, strapping tape or something like that. And so it's not really adhering to the principle, but it's pretty close. Then, of course, there's some books stacked there underneath my box for my phone that I got earlier this year. And for those items, I'm not truly adhering to that principle. So that's the area I need to touch on. And just in general, from a minimalist perspective, I never really read these books or look at these books. So I probably need to get rid of them, but that's a different subject. And then here we have the next shelf of my closet. I think here I'm actually I think doing pretty well when it comes to having everything such that I can access it without moving something else. So I think I'm actually good there. Here's my fireproof safe. I won't open that. It has my personal documents in it, but I do a pretty good job in there. I have some miscellaneous folders and there are coupons and other miscellaneous things in there. That's, I think it, adheres to the principle pretty well, as does that folder. Let's see, down here I'm doing pretty well. I do have to move, that's a box with some of my items that I need to recycle, and so I could probably find a way to not put that on top of that bucket, and that bucket has my humidifier for in the winter when I need to keep it nice and moist in here, but it's relatively minor. I don't use the humidifier really outside of a few months of the year. This shelf I am doing actually pretty well. I recently reorganized it. So you, I think you can see I can access some things pretty readily, including some camping gear that I'd like to use in the near future. I do have to move that it's, well, I don't have to. I do have to move the top sleeping bag on that shelf that's next to the that's uh, right above the bottom shelf. But other than that, it's, I think pretty easy to access items there. Let's see, and up here, doing pretty well, and doing pretty well down here as well. I do have to move some items down here. But, like, this box is really to transport my uh, UPS universal power supply, so I never really access that. It's not a big deal. And some of those boxes back there are, like, for my laptop for work, when I want to eventually give that back someday. So, it's not too big of a deal that I have to go back there to access it. But overall, I'm doing pretty well, but obviously uh, areas to improve. And I hope to publish some more videos showing how I try to adhere to this principle in other areas of my home.